The impetus for these ideas, though, when you're, tip, when you're starting to write a song, historically, you would start with an instrumental demo. Tell me about the process of how you actually craft a melody and a song you know, and a lyric. You start with a little germ of an idea, a little a cadence. Uh, your fingers might find something. So well, that's interesting. Let's take it a little further. Without that spark of interest, without that little building block, there's no way to go, you know. So you have a guitar riff or something, but a guitar riff is not a song. Right. A guitar riff needs to be structured. And once I have a structure of a song, maybe a traditional structure, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, key change, coda, once I, that's the ideal for me, even though it's not terribly fashionable at the moment. <laughs> the structure tells me a story. You know, some people listen to music and they see colour. Mm -hmm. I see characters, I see situations, I somehow I hear lines that people say or a refrain, but it's the music that's telling me the story, but it needs structure. A riff on its own won't do that. Uh, lyrics are difficult. Dominic would say, where'd you get that lyric from? I said, I just walk in the garden and it's under a rock. <laughs> and we wrote a song together, how many years, 30 years ago? Um, Shit with my heart. Mm -hmm. Dom came in with this fantastic riff, beautiful cadence, sort of bark like descending bass line. And um, I said, okay, so we, we spent the morning, you know, make, structuring it, making it into a song. Here's a verse here and a verse there, and there's a key change there. So I just go for a walk and I have it in my headphones and I just walk around. And a few hours later, I've got a, at least the concept of what the song is telling me, which is about a gambler. And Dom said, Where'd, where'd you get this shit from? I said, I don't know. It just occurs to me, but the music tells me the story. Dom, when you played that riff, that thing has been sampled by so many people and used for songs. What do you think about that? Well, it's a, it's a huge compliment, I think. Uh, but I mean, the, the truth behind that one is that that riff is that I just actually came up with that motif as an exercise for myself, mm -hmm. just as a warm-up exercise, based on um, sixth, yeah. sixth chords. Yep. And it's like, that takes inspiration from, uh, kind of from Chopin-type chords, pian piano chords. I was just messing around with that, kind of like the way John McLaughlin would, would write uh, chord sequences. He wasn't really articulating the third so much, it's much more about the sixth is what like, tells you what it is. And so I was just having fun with that. And um, what I think about it is when I hear rappers and, and artists using that riff, I'm kind of smiling at myself, first of all, thinking that unbeknownst to them, they're actually playing classical music from Europe. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and because I, don't, I can't really claim it as my own, really, because that's, that was the source. Right. And I just reorganized that idea. And then it was Sting's uh, imagination as a songwriter mm -hmm. to, this is a perfect example of collaboration, mm. is to, is to uh, he was the one who said, look, that is a song. And I'm going, it's just an exercise, mate. <laughs> and um, <laughs> cut to, he walks in the garden and comes back with a lyric. And that song was written in a day. It was just done. It didn't take three months. And sometimes songs are like that, you know? So I'm very flattered, and, uh, but I don't really claim total ownership with it because I know where, the, where it came from. And it came from classical music. Sting.